Data released by the National Bureau of Statistics in November last year says Nigerians spend 61.08 trillion naira on food and other household items and service in the first few months of 2023. Lagos State, with a population spilling over 20 million and counting, food consumption is also on the high side. According to the state government in 2022, Residents consume 4.5 billion naira worth of food daily. This growing figure seems to be putting the government on its toes to ensure it becomes self-sufficient by 2025. In achieving this goal, the Lagos State yeah. Government, through the Ministry of Agriculture, is meeting with stakeholders in the agricultural sector to discuss the state of food systems roadmap and highlight the success story of the government in rice production red meat initiative and other different food value chains. In 2021, April, precisely on the 22nd, we had launched the agricultural five-year roadmap. And that roadmap had timelines as well. And for the timelines, we had specified projects, initiatives, activities that were to be carried out all through to 2025. The year 2023, we were able to do roughly about 15,000 tons of pilot, which is uh, over 100 and something, 120,000 bags of, uh, of rice. This year, we are hoping, and I will go through a couple of it, to do 100,000 tons of pilot. Questions are raised by some of the participants on the issue of the Igbo feed lot and movement of fresh food items. I want to confirm, where are we on the Bodo Cleanups? When are we seeing the allocation? Is there anything we are doing regarding uh, moving fresh food items via train? Uh, that can easily reduce the cost of food in Lagos by up to 25%, if not more. While the State Commissioner for Agriculture and her colleague in charge of the Ministry of Economic Planning and Budget respond to issues raised, the State Head of Service said the government is reintroducing Operation Feed the Nation to make Lagos self-sufficient. Establishing a feedlot uh, on average you're talking about five hectares is not an easy feat and based on the last uh, stakeholders uh, meet we had in collaboration with FAO, we know that minimal you need nothing less than I think almost a hundred million naira to even take off with. Whilst we're not able to do everything, you know, at least come this time next year, we'll also be held accountable and said, you know, the ones that we put in, what have we done with it? And this will give us forward and say, tick, tick, tick. If you remember, for the youth of us that are here, you remember Operation Fit in Nation? So we're bringing it back, are we? This is what we're doing. Um, and you know, the, the government recognized agriculture a long time ago. And it's one of the areas, in fact, it's the only area that it allows civil servants to participate in. So every civil servant can participate in agriculture in addition to what you are doing. Going forward, the Lagos State Government says the stakeholders meeting will be held quarterly to ensure that all areas under the agricultural sector is moving at the same pace with projections of a remarkable achievement for the future.